today is a big day for Hilo because he's about to get his family jewels cut off and he has no idea, my poor baby. Hilo, do you have anything to say about this? Before we go any farther in today's video, I want to see you guys give a thumbs up down below and leave a comment because welcome back to the daily vlogs where we are uploading a video every single day till the end of the year. So if you haven't already hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications so you get notified every time you upload a new video. And as you can see behind me, boys, we are just going to jump straight to it this morning. If you follow my Instagram and if you don't do it because you miss a lot of behind the scenes and on my Snapchat, you guys miss a lot of behind the scenes stuff that doesn't really make it to the vlog. But Past three to four weeks, I've been just on a crazy Japanese vintage wheel hunt. And as you can see behind us, I have a collection of wheels and some bonus stuff in the big package right there that we're gonna be unboxing today. And man, I could not be more excited. There are two kinds of wheels that I have been specifically hunting. Sabrina, please be careful with that. There are two wheels that I have been searching for the past month. And one of them is spoiled right off the rip, which if you don't know what this is, let me give you guys a little background as to this special wheel right here. If you drop that, I would cry. So the first wheel, and I, I feel like I need to give a little bit of a backstory as to why I've been, Sabrina, this is not a toy. If there's one wheel that I'll let you roll around, it is this one. So this wheel looks disgusting, guys. I absolutely know that. I look at it up close. It's covered in like pink. I don't know what the previous owner did with this, but they are an absolute wreck. The bundles are destroyed, but these are really hard to come by. These are Nismo LMGT2s. These came out, I don't know the exact years that they were produced but somewhere in the late 90s. 93 to 99. Woo! Okay. Expert over here. There you go. Okay, well it was actually, I think it was closer to 98 to 99. I'm sure someone in the comments will, will know down below. But these were factory wheels you could order from Nissan and they were actually a raised wheel. I think this one actually has the raised sticker in it. Yep, you can actually see that right there. And it actually has the spec 17 face by nine. It even has the offsets and everything. So these wheels were a like R32, R33 wheel that you could pick up from factory. They are a two piece design and they actually have multiple different styles of this. They have the LMGT1s, LMGT2s, LMGT3s, which look like this, but it's more of a curvature face. And then with the modern cars, they have the fours, they have the fives, but these are hard to come by. They are super rare. And just this style, this design has really become popular in the last couple of years because they're getting very difficult to find and when you find a full set that is that looks like this how they're supposed to look they sell online from anywhere between eight thousand to ten thousand dollars now keep in mind when these things came out back in the late 90s I mean I, I would guess they were maybe like two thousand dollars so they're going up in value a lot which I'm really really hyped on and it's just a hype wheel that I'm like man I want to start collecting these so I found a couple sets and this is by far the worst set this one came from France yes these are gross but shout out to my boys three piece US because they're gonna be helping us rebuild and bring wheels back to life. So this is the first set that I bought. By far the worst condition out of both of them. I mean, they are both pretty beat up. Oh, so this is not the same wheel in every box? No, it is not. So the real purpose, I mean, as you can see, we're missing the valve cap, we're missing we're hardware missing on this one, we're missing the center caps. I really bought these just for the faces. That is the most important thing. The barrels will be relipped and remade because we'll probably will do a step lip to an 18 because this is a 17 face, but just seeing this makes me so happy. Very excited. Sprinter's already gonna open the next box. I don't know what that, what that's, oh. Oh, whoa, you can't show them that one yet. You can't show them that one yet. Give us that box, Sprinter, give, give us that box. Now, I know what all of these boxes are, but you guys don't. No, 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 give them the one that's that's already open right there. Here is another set of the same wheels of LMGT2s that I got, but these ones are in these ones are far in better condition, but they're still pretty rough. Oh wow, what a what a difference. Well, no, so these ones are still pretty beat up too. So, I mean, as you can see, all of the hardware is rusted. Um, but yep. we have the center caps, which are which is huge. We even have, look at this, the raised valve stem cap. That's awesome. You had that over here. Nope, that oh, one's nope. This no, one is don't. literally This one's literally just for the face. But this one's in far better condition. Still pretty gross looking. I mean, Ew. It's, it's still gross. But, I mean, if you look at this to this. But then also, look at the barrel sizes. This this one's a lot bigger of a wheel. This is probably like a This eight, one's like bigger. Nine. Yeah, but again, we're after the faces, not the barrels themselves. We're gonna rebuild that and repurpose it. We really just bought these 
for the faces. You wouldn't really put this on anything other than like a, a Nissan car. When it comes down to it, you would really only want to put these, you don't only want to, but for me personally, I would only put these on a GTRs, like R32, R33, R34. So I'm R35. kind of just like stacking. You wouldn't put these on an R35. Why not? Because um, the 17 faces is probably too small just to fit the big brakes on the R35. But you, I guess potentially you could. What would you do if you didn't have high interest loans and credit card debt? Well, with Upstart, you can make that question a reality. Whether it's paying off credit cards, consolidating high interest debt, or funding personal expenses, aka some nice cars, over a million people have used Upstart to get one fixed monthly payment with a clear payoff date. Rather than looking at just your credit score alone, Upstart will look at other things that have value like your income, your current employment, and your credit history to find you a smarter rate for your loan. You can check your rate without hurting your credit score in minutes for loans between $1,000 and $50,000. Find out how Upstart can lower your monthly payments today by going to upstart.com forward slash TJ Hunt. That's upstart.com forward slash TJ Hunt. Let them know that we sent you or click the links down below in the description. Thank you so much to Upstart for sponsoring today's video and taking care of the boys. Now let's get back to it. But I just want to start collecting these wheels because when the time comes that I have the 32 to put these on or when the 34 comes over from Japan, this will be a really cool wheel to throw on there. And as these become harder to come by, I'm just honestly buying every set that I see come up on Yahoo auctions. Shout out to my boy Joan because he's been helping me buy all these, but I'm just starting to collect and hoard these wheels because I think they're so cool. So there's two, there's how two many, wheels. How many did you buy? Well, I think that we have here today, so far, I've purchased, of all my Japanese wheels that are hard to collect, including these ones, I think we've purchased 18 so far, and we only have 12 that are here today. What? Yeah, we still have some incoming. So I've been buying a lot. Wow. Still the same condition? Still the same condition. This face is a little bit more beat up, but again, the condition doesn't uh -oh. really matter as much. Uh -oh. will, we will we'll fix all of them. <laughs> Keep your trash in a proper pot. All right, the next box. Oh, I think I like these ones. Yes. I think I, I think I, I think I got a little think... I got a sneak peek of these. These are the ones I think everyone will know the most. These are definitely the most hot boy. Shout out to Adam. Adam has a fatty collection of them. And well, I'll show you what we got. Okay. Oh, I know what these are. These are the Blitz 03s. The Blitz Zero Threes. These wheels are very hard to come by these days. So if you guys don't know what this wheel is, this is made by a company called Blitz. You might have heard from them. We actually have some Blitz things in the back over there for the S14, but this is a very, very popular wheel. Probably their most popular wheel out of everything they made. They're becoming very popular as of recent. That's a pretty good condition. These are not bad. These not, are not bad, not, but not bad. every wheel that we have here, we are gonna be rebuilding and uh, rebarreling every single wheel. So when you guys see this, imagine I'm really just buying these for the faces because we can rebuild with everything to make it the size we need, the step lip, all that good stuff. All these wheels here, I mean, especially the Blitz 03s, they're just becoming so expensive and so overpriced. Sabrina, look at this. They included some oh, that's Jap for me. Japanese candy. That's for me. I don't know what that is, but do you want to try eat it? it? You eat it. <laughs> I don't know what TJ's not very adventurous with food. Oh, it's like a Cheeto. He, he likes it. That's something TJ would like. It's like a very, very, <laughs> very good Cheeto. <laughs> That's real good. <laughs> oh, it's in the box. Another set of LMGT2s. These ones look pretty good. Oh, these ones do look good. These ones are in pretty good condition. So this is I mean, now. I through the back. Ooh, not too good. Not, I mean, they're this, still in great condition. Has the center caps, still has a sticker that's gonna get torn off so anyway. So this is the third set of LMGT2s. Well, when you say a set, that are usually that's first all four. four. So we have one full set. Another hey, Cheeto! Another Cheeto. <laughs> this makes me so happy, it's like seeing this. Does this pump your nads? Yeah, it really pumps my nads. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you gonna store all these? Well, so I was thinking that once we rebuild them, some of them, it'd be cool to like bring them at home and put them on display in the garage, or- Or we could hang them on the wall in, the in our house. <laughs> I don't know if you're trolling me, but yeah, I was like, dude, it'd be really <laughs> cool to make like a really, really pretty set, like go full polish on like the Blitz or something, and like hang them as decor in the house. Isn't that, isn't that what every girlfriend wants? It's a set of- Yeah, I want hanging. all of these plastered above my headboard so I can look at that. Actually, let's put them on the ceiling. So when I go like this to sleep, they're all up there. 
This one's so bad. Uh oh. Look at the barrel. Oh. You see that? Oof. Oof. It's okay because all we care about is this. Well, looks like your drift wheels after it hit the track. It kind of does. And these ones are big. I think these are 18 faces. This looks good right here. Yeah. So the blitz come in uh, three different face sizes. You have a low, a medium, and a high. These all. So look, look at this. So you can actually see the difference. Like this face size looks like it's a high. It's a lot taller than this one. So you can fit a big, big brake system, but the offset's kind of crazy on it. So certain faces you can only run on certain setups because the offsets are really, really shallow. There you go. Yep, these are 18. So the 18s too, 18s are like hard to come by. I kind of like buying the 17s and then doing a step lift 18 barrel, which is really cool. That's a big daddy box behind you. I'm What's excited. in that one? I'm excited for that box. Is it a dog? Is it a dog? Yeah. No, it's not a dog. Is it a surprise for me? Yes. <laughs> what are these? What are these? This is like Christmas morning. Oh, these ones are so bad. Oh, that's looking a little gross in there. Oh, Ooh. yeah. Yeah, buddy. Ooh. Another set of Blitz 03s. These ones are the 17 face. And look, see, you can tell this face looks a lot different. This, I think this is a medium face. Look how much smaller that one is. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Now those two I can tell a difference on. Oh. Are you, are you proud of yourself? Are you satisfied? Well, I wish I had like all of them here. But yes, <laughs> seeing this makes me extremely happy. This is like, I guess for a girl, <laughs> this is like buying like vintage like Louis Vuitton or something. I'm not into vintage. Like this, <laughs> this right here, that's a, that, that is, that's a, that's a good chunk of money in just wheels. And this isn't even them like built. This is like the gross looking wheels. Are you gonna put these on in your cars? I am gonna put the Blitz on one of our cars. Oh, I know. It's these totally ones, the I'm gonna rebuild them and probably keep them. Well, I don't know. Once 2024 comes around, these are going on the. Wall. A lot of cars are gonna start showing up. So I kind of wanted to start. I kind of want to start just 2020. stockpiling. 2024. Oh. This is the start of our collection, so that when the time comes and all of our friends are like, oh TJ, I really need a setup of the so 3 oh TJ, I really need some LMGT2s for my R32 or for my S15, please help me now. I'll be like, boys, no, I got you. All right guys, leave your guesses down below as to what is in the big box. There's only a few things that could fit in a box like this, so I don't feel like it should be that hard, but everything here I had to import from Japan and they were all very difficult to find, so that also might kind of increase the odds a little bit as to what it could be. Sabrina's fighting a bunch of tape right now. Oh. Any guesses, any guesses? Uh, more wheels? Nope, it's not wheels. These aren't wheels? No wheels. These are seats? Yes. These are brides. Yes. These are going in the RX-7? No, we already have these in the RX-7. Oops, that was kind of me giving it away. Oh, they're red too. Look at you with all your wheels and all your seats. These seats that we have here are the Bride Lomax seats. And this is a seat that is often made as a replica because this exact seat uh, is the one that we have in the RX-7 and they are no longer manufactured. They are no longer being made. So to come across them is very hard and to get them in like perfect condition is like extremely hard. So these ones, uh, I actually got one of them was like dead stock in some random up garage in Japan. Oh, this is the, okay, cool. And then this, this one that we got had a few extra features on it that I had never seen before, so I'm excited. So to these are the that. actual ones? Yes, these are. And this is showing that it's an actual one? Yeah, so that it just comes with some stuff. But the point of me saying that was you can find these seats like on eBay for like $400 a seat, but they are uh, not real, they're replicas. So to find the authentic versions of them, and have them be legit, which is like what we're all about. It's a hard thing to accomplish. Look at this. Woo! So I've never seen, I've never seen. Okay, yeah, this is it. These are the red Lomaxes, and they are the Glitterbacks, which is my favorite oh, one. Oh, But I've never seen this before. Some of you guys may have. This has all the extra features that you can buy. So it has the, the back covers. I guess if you wanted to make sure like the backs didn't get scratched, there's like this little cover, which I've never seen. You don't have these on the RX-7 No, one? I, I don't. I've never, I didn't even know they offered this because they don't manufacture anymore, so I didn't know it was a thing. Oh yeah. Well, Sabrina, no, 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 Sabrina, no, stop, 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 stop. I don't want to scratch the backs. <laughs> I really wanted to see it tumble down. I tried, boys, I'm so sorry. Oh, these are so snug. Look at you. Oh. 
This is the thumbnail right here. <laughs> so epic. <laughs> what happens if you could only find one chair? Um, I would buy it and then keep searching for another set or another seat and then buy it when it becomes available. You got it. You got a love note. If anyone TJ knows Japanese and can translate that, put it in the comment section down below. Something about thank you. Probably just says thanks for buying a seat from us. Wow, this is cool. Come on, unpack faster. This one wasn't labeled as dead stock. Except I think it is. No, it, it looks like, a, there's, you can tell there's a little bit of use right here from a steering wheel, or a steering wheel, a seatbelt. Very, very faint, but the condition looks really good. So you can see it's a little dirty right there. A little dirty. But this is great condition, like this is really good. So you notice it doesn't have the carbon on here? Oh yeah. It's, the, it's, it's just black. Speechless. You trying to buy a pair? All right, I'm gonna take these. These aren't for sale. I'm gonna get these. These aren't for I'll sale. I'll sell you these two. Out of everyone who works out of the shop, my boy Timmy Skids uh -huh. loves <laughs> loves JDM stuff like more than anything. Yeah, that's true. It's you, true. Are you are you interested in in picking anything yeah. out? Well, uh, thank you for getting me these, by the way. Yeah, like, for I, you. Yeah. Perfect. That's today's video is actually surprising Timmy with wheels. Yeah. So I, uh, I've done yeah, all this yeah. filming just to trick you. I was just out here to film and he rolls up. You went to Starbucks, Starbucks. and got us a, a gift card. Yeah, dude. You and Sabrina, I watched the vlogs after work. You guys are awesome. What's your name? Victor. Nice to meet you, Victor. Yeah, you didn't need to man. do that, but no, I, I, I appreciate it. Are... I appreciate it, man. Here it is, man. Thank you. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Happy holidays then, I guess, dude. Yeah, nice to meet yeah. you, Victor. I was out here FaceTiming with my boy Jumbo showing him our new wheels. We got a gift card to Starbucks, Kev. For me? Yeah, you want it? Yeah. I'll share it with you. Actually, sorry, we're not friends, remember? This is his battle wound. Hilo, how does it feel now that your nuts are gone? Mm -hmm. I can sympathize, I understand, brother. Tonight's meal is gonna be two different types of tri-tip. One that I had, one that Calvin brought. Got some broccoli and cheese, and we also have some rice. This is bussin'. Bussin', bussin'? This is bussin', bussin', it's bussin'. boys hey I want to say it again if you made it this far in the video big special place in my heart for you guys I'm reading the comments in every single daily vlog and you guys are genuinely hyped on following the videos every day and I just want to say thank you I appreciate that truly what really keeps me going on these daily vlogs is seeing your guys's comments and seeing your guys's interactions and just letting me know that you guys want to see it it's not easy it is it is definitely not easy to do these videos and I'm trying to make the titles and the thumbnails and just what I'm doing every day as interesting as possible for you guys but I just want to express my gratitude one more time and just say thank you for watching and I hope you guys are enjoying it and I cannot wait for Vlogmas. I hope that doing daily vlogs this early, like in November, isn't taking away from the special time of Vlogmas. Let me know your feedback down below about that. But I do worry, I'm like, man, is, it, is Vlogmas gonna be special this year when they're already getting like daily vlogs? I, I don't know. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Peace out and keep moving forward. It's copyright, dude. You can't. You can't do that. <laughs> She's from you. That's yeah. what I said. That's what I said. She is from you guys. Yeah, she is. Yeah. She has to be. She is the girl. I just looked it up. What do you expect from me? Do you think I'm just going to have sex with you? No. Of no, no, you, you, you don't understand. Are you filming this? 
What is wrong with you? <laughs>